This video is supported by Brilliant. Global contest of technology has begun. We're seeing it ever more clearly between the United States and China. When the United States issued tariffs on Chinese product in 2018, no one in their right mind would predict this kind of escalation eventually turned out to be. What began as two trading partners having a bit of a hiccup has become a full out technology war. The United States has threatened to ban TikTok and Huawei, and China are sanctioning defense contractors like Lockheed Martin and Raytheon. Very recently, military posturing and protestation on both sides in the South China Sea have pushed their confrontation even further. None of these are good signs for peace and prosperity to be frank, but this is beyond what we discuss on this channel. What I want to focus on today is against this background. Is China and the United States destined to have a space race? And who would win this time? First of all, when we talk about space race, we're not solely comparing the capability of rockets. Neither are we talking about the number of launches per country, because if that is the case, China is already ahead of the United States in 2019. Neither does space race correlate to the economic prowess of a country as the former Soviet Union was far weaker economically in the 70s than its space capability was seen to boast. Here is what space race was really about. Technology primacy. The real power of the United States and China lies in their military strength, which is based on the foundation of better technological capability. Indeed, when the term space race was coined, it was not referring to the possibility of the former Soviet Union sending astronauts to space. It was the possibility of using space technology for nuclear strikes. On top of this, space race has a deeper meaning as well. It was about the Soviet socialist system versus the United States capitalist system. Whoever wins the space race gets to declare the development model as the superior one as rocket technology represented the peak of human achievement. Therefore, both for military supremacy and for development model contests, the United States and China are on a collision course right now, with space being an important pillar. So how would we compare the two countries and their space capability? This is a tough question. If I were given the same question 10 years ago, I would say it is crazy to have even uttered this question in the first place. Of course, the United States is better. But despite the United States being superior still in terms of space technology, in recent years, the Chinese have caught up quickly. We should give China credit when credit is due. In 2019, China had the most number of launches in the world. More importantly, in terms of rocket technology, the Chinese have key vehicles developed completely by themselves. Here are the Chinese long march rockets compared with Falcon rockets side by side. Though China has not built a super heavy lift launch vehicle like the United States Saturn V, its Long March 5 with 25,000 tons of LEO launch capability is right up there with the Falcon Eye in terms of thrust. Furthermore, China has a mini version of International Space Station called TG, Tiangong, which can host up to two astronauts in space for around 30 days. As of last year, China also demonstrated its moon landing capability, which opens doors to Mars trips and human landing on the moon by the end of the next decade. One of the key pieces of technology is the throttleable landing engine. China and the United States are among the only few countries that have this technology figured out. Here's the theme to this competition. China is not leading in any of these areas in rocket technology at the moment. The United States is, but China has all the technology available and figured out. This means in due time, if the United States continues to pay less attention to space, China does have a shot to surpass the United States. This is where SpaceX comes in. We have seen the stagnation of building space launch system and much Circumstantial evidences also point to a Boeing that has become complacent over the years. And if this is representative of the United States defense industry, the US is in big trouble. This makes SpaceX lead crucial to winning the new space race. This is not to say that the Chinese space companies are better than Boeing either. They're not. They're far not. They're run by state-owned enterprises as well. But they do have the lower material and supply chain cost on their side. This is the true capability of the Chinese space industry. It's supply chain superpower. 
The country is vast and it has become the only country in the world to obtain all industrial categories listed in the United Nations Industrial Classification. What this means is that China makes everything, from plastic bottles to ranches and to cars and even passenger airplanes. In 2019, China leads the world in steel production, aluminium production, both of which are important materials for rocket building. On top of this, China also can source all components needed domestically at a much lower cost. This cost component is something that the United States must compete against with innovation and better technology. This is the reason why a non-reusable Chinese Long March rocket can cost almost as little as Falcon Eye as $70 million. Both countries are trying to one up another by demonstrating their capability. And to be frank, it does not matter to me if China or the United States has better space technology. Our world has moved on since the 70s and military confrontation has lost its ways to economic contests to bring happiness to people. If a space race between the United States and China can bring better technology to our lives, I'm fine with it. Space is one of the greatest puzzles of our world. No matter how brilliant humans have been creating this world, staring into the darkness of outer space is always an awesome experience. Because when we do that, we're confronting our fear and ignorance, like a child trying to understand the complexity of our world. The more we know about space, the more we know we don't know. Brilliant is a problem-solving based website and app with a hands-on approach. With over 60 interactive courses in math, science, and computer science, it is designed to help us navigate our world of science. Courses on Brilliant give you a great framework to enhance your understanding of our world and help you link relevant topics together. On top of that, it engages you with interesting problems and examples and help you master concepts by solving fun, challenging problems yourself. Do you want to learn more about statistics? What about chances of winning in casino? Brilliant courses in probability can be your answer. You'll be practicing your probability skills with real life examples with blackjack, crabs, and poker. Math can be fun too. To support Curious Elephant and learn more about Brilliant, go to brilliant.org slash Curious Elephant and sign up for free. First 200 people click on the link will get 20% off the annual premium subscription.